Things got nasty during the game last night between the Montreal Canadiens and the Florida Panthers and in today's video I'm gonna tell you what got this party started how it all escalated and how the riffs well just lost complete control of this game But to do this we're gonna have to go all the way back to the first period when it was a scoreless game And the Habs they were on a power play and during a race for the puck in the Habs zone Mike Matheson pulls this reverse hit on an unsuspecting Eric Stoss, sending him down to the ice hard. Look at that. Gee. Now when you take a closer look at this play, you'll realize that Matheson doesn't even have control of the puck. And you know, personally, I'm fine with these reverse hits when the guy delivering them actually has control of the puck. But man, this one was pretty greasy. Star would leave the game and not return after this hit. There was no call on the play. And this would be just the tip of the iceberg moving on to the second period now and now it's the Canadians turn to get pissed off the Panthers score on a power play Marty St. Louis thinks that Kachuk interferes with Montebol here goes for the coach's challenge coin toss Marty says heads the zebras say tails and they call it a good goal oh my god and add salt to the wounds it's a failed coach's challenge meeting. The Panthers go right back on the power play. And look at them go. They would score on this one as well. And just like that, we got two teams that are getting pretty pissed off. You could just watch this thing boil over like the pot in Mama's kitchen. And it still would not get any better. A little later in the game during a Habs power play, the Riffs would make yet again another brutal decision. When Josh Anderson gets caught for cross chicken after an Oscar worthy performance by Red Gudas, who's just flopping around like a trout. Anderson goes to the box, Florida scores again on this power play, and they would continue to just pound the Habs, adding five goals in the second period alone. But right before the second period was about to come to an end, we get another missed call during this game. Arbor Jacko gets hit from behind by Tenisanko or whatever his name is, just crashes into the boards. Oh, gee, and this is the wrong bear to be poking right now if you're the Florida Panthers during a blowout game. Jacko is not happy. There was a zebra looking right at this play as it happened. Look at him. He completely ignores what he just saw, and this would prove proved to be a costly mistake. On the very next play, Arby would decide to go after, well, just about anyone he can get his hands on. We got Giovanni Smith skating around, acting like he's real tough. And both of these guys, Smith and Jack, I would be handed misconducts to start the third period. The Canadians and the Panthers were just steaming at this point. Now, the third period would start off kind of funny because Nick Suzuki just out muscles Red Kogutis in the Panthers' zone, sending him down to the ice. I thought it was great. A couple of minutes later, Sam Bennett decides to stick out the old knee on Jordan Harris and while the riffs were sorting this one out behind the play it's Kachuk and Matheson just chucking him Kachuking him? Pretty good toss all good on Matheson for stepping up to the plate and you know getting this one out of the way maybe Gouda should take some notes and also good on Kachuk because say what you like about this guy he's always in there to defend his teammates. Both benches like what they just saw the fans they're not even leaving the building because they just know there's going to be more action. And after the 10 minute mark in the third period, both Jack Eye and Smith, they're back out onto the ice now. After serving their misconducts and after getting knocked down a couple of times by Arby, he seems like he's ready to drop the mitts. I'm going to backtrack because earlier on into the game, Jack Eye went crashing hard into his own knit. And when I look back at this this morning, I noticed his left hand making contact with the post as he crashes into it. Now, I'm not sure if he hurts himself here, but you're going to notice that he doesn't drop his left glove during the scrap against Smith. But you know what? He doesn't even need to because this guy looks like he just craps his pants the minute his gloves come off. It's all Jack Eye in this one. He gets the right hand going. Going, and Smith would come out of this one looking like a complete wiener hit. Whoopi Goldberg's pumped. And just like that, when the fans thought that the main event of the evening is over, no, 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 no. Mike Opposita lays a big hit, and boy, are we ever in for a big treat. It's the bad on the hair product. I've never seen nothing like this before. Pantene and Dove gone toe to toe. Talk about putting on a show. Lamberg steps up to the plate big time. Pizzetta shows him some love with a little tap after they're done. And yeah. 
yeah, I'm gonna call this one a draw, although I do think that Piz has the edge in the hair department. This is all natural. God, I'm an idiot. But yeah, that was a lot of nasty stuff during this one, and a lot of it could have been prevented with better officiating. These guys were pissed off on both sides with the missed calls, and what they did call was just complete garbage most of the time. Now, seeing we got this big slug back onto the screen, I thought we were going to see a Goodis and Josh Anderson fight before the third period came to an end. Especially after Kirby Doc just humiliates him down into the corner. But Goodis, no, he didn't want any heat. Goes for what looks to be a bit of a knee on knee again. He misses and skates off to the bench with his towel between his legs. The guy's an idiot. But anyway, the Habs would lose this one by a final score of 6-2. Love was in the air last night. Let me know what you thought of this one down in the comment section. And hey, I'll see you next time.